Hi, this is Pat with PMA Tool. In this video we are going to go over the instructions for the installation and use of the micro die adjuster. As received from PMA Tool, the micro die adjuster has a total range of adjustment of 70 thousandths. That is 28 thousandths into the press for more shoulder bump and sizing and 42 thousandths for less. The first step is to remove the existing lock ring from your sizing die. Next, we thread the die into the micro die adjuster until we've run out of threads. Clear to the top of the die. Next, we run the ram on the press all the way up and thread the die into the press until it makes contact with the shell holder. At this point, back it out about an eighth of a turn and run the die adjuster down until it makes firm contact with the top of the press. Lower the ram and then lock the die adjuster onto your die using a 330 seconds hex wrench. Now there's a lead ball in front of that set screw that prevents the set screw from damaging the threads on your die so there's no worries on that. Now in this position it's ready to size a case. Now there are a lot of different ways to measure a case and, and determine how much you need to size uh, in this example, I'm just going to use a bump gauge. I get my measurement off of a fired piece of brass, preferably with the primer knocked out, and now I'm ready to size. Size this piece of brass. and remeasure. Based on that measurement, we now know how much we need to adjust the die. To adjust the die, simply use the cam arm on the die adjuster to break the die free from the press, loosen the adjustment lock screw, and make our adjustment. Each mark on the micro die adjuster is one thousandth of an inch. There's ample space between the marks to make adjustments as fine as half or even less. Simple. Now once you've made your adjustment, we lock the adjustment locking screw and retighten the die in the press. We size some more, another piece of brass, measure, double check, and make any adjustments off of that that we might need to make. Now some brass may require more change to the die than is indicated by your measurements, so we need to double check and double check by measuring or testing another piece of brass and so on until we get it just right. Now this completes the demonstration video. If you have any questions about this or any other PMA tool product, please call us at 260-246-5860 or email us at support at pmatool.com. Thanks for watching and as always, good shooting.